Right then. I'm going live on this page and I've tagged all of the, the I've tagged the pages on purpose because there is some confusion, some sort some some uh, there's some uh, miscommunication somewhere, right, which has actually physically caused me harm. My name's Phil and I'm from Doncaster and I suffer at the hands of an alien eating bastard. Two, in fact. I used I was I started off suffering at the hands of one abusive narcissistic woman, right? And she is a female, she's a she's a man of the of the feminine of the feminine sex, right? Because there's feminine and masculine, that's it. There's alpha and omega, and that is it. Don't, and anyone who tells you it's different is lunatics. Um, and uh, I suffer with this abuse, so I do things, mad, mad things, to keep myself positive. Um, started off doing walks. I did a massive walk from Doncaster to Skegness for a Children with Cancer UK. I raised them £1,027, and it, I had like a spiritual awakening on it. I've walked from Doncaster to Newcastle, Doncaster to London, London to Doncaster, Doncaster to Skegness, Doncaster to Sheffield, Doncaster to Leeds. I've walked 180, it's put in, I've counted them properly, 108. I've walked from Doncaster to Nottingham in one day. 12 hours, it took me 12 hours. In the past five years, I've took part in four, four glove boxing fights and one bare knuckle. And I was supposed to do a bare knuckle fight last year for parental alienation awareness um, but it never came into fruition because of the, I've tagged the Doncaster Free Press because of a scumbag journalist I ask you to please research my name Philip Anthony um, the surname I have to use is Hartley so research that name research those two names Philip Anthony and then research the surname Hartley all together and you'll find reports from a Burke from a man called Darren, who I will be serving paperwork to, you'll find paper. You'll find reports from this one man, say lying, saying that I've saying that I'm under investigation. This is why I've tagged I've tagged in this post, South Yorkshire Police, saying I'm under investigation for uh, from a fraud for thirty thousand pounds worth of fraud from cancer research through sticker sales. He reckons. I wish I'd have sold that many stickers, bro. Um, but you know. Uh, I dated from March, March 2001, a letter from, from Cancer Research to me saying I'm part of their team and they are, they're happy, they're, they're happy with the money that I've raised them and they don't want me to stop giving them money. They, they, I sell stickers, I sell new campaign stickers and I give 50% to Cancer Research, well to different causes but there aren't these ones, to Cancer Research. Good Vibes stickers, so I literally shot Good Vibes, yeah. Um, no fear, no limits, no excuses. With my hashtag on, and fitness is medicine. Cause this is why they want me. To, Cause they don't want you knowing that you can just go walking and running and that and look after yourself. They want you running back and forth to chemist. And then there's uh, me for coronavirus ones. Cause I'm a boxer. Um, my boxing journey started off. I, I I started doing some marathons and I thought I was fit. And I woke up at the side of this beautiful valley in the Peak District with a little, like a lovely lake at the bottom. It was like 5 a.m. in the morning. The sun was coming up. Birds were singing. It was beautiful. And I thought, this is not a challenge. I'm, I, 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 I just woke up in tent and that. And I, I was like, I'm, I'm asking people to sponsor me for this. And I'm just enjoying myself. This is not a direct, proper challenge. So I found... There were, there's a guy, one of my main haters, right? One of my main fucking haters he is, bless him. There's a guy called Jay and I saw he'd done a boxing thing called Ultra White Collar Boxing. So I signed up for it, mate. I signed up for it. My first my first blast, I got my ribs broken during during training. But I carried on because I wanted to do something. I wanted to push myself. And and when I first walked into the martial, Donny Mar Doncaster Martial Arts Centre... When I first walked in, I thought I was fit. I punched the bag for 10 minutes. I was like, wow, I'm not, I'm not fit. But I am today, I am today, thank, thanks to my journey, thanks to boxing, thanks to ultra white collar boxing. I've tagged them in this because, like I said, if you search back, you'll see this, this bird, this man called Darren, has made stories that he said that ultra white collar boxing don't want anything to do with me, yet they're liking my stuff on Instagram. And, 
And you know, I'm promoting their stuff because I think you've put a bit of weight on over over this uh, lockdown period. You want to shed some weight? What better way to do it than raise funds for cancer research and get fit at the same time? www.uwcb.co.uk. Check it out and sign up today. Um, if you've got any concerns about me, as me with me selling these stickers, please contact Cancer Research UK directly. And whilst you're there. Donate a few quid. Whilst you're there, ask what you can do. Ask what you can do to support them. Ask what you can do. What what? Ask what you... Because you're putting energy into something daft and negative. Ask them if there's anything you can put that same energy into, but for them, for positive. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, and you'll be able to get pictures like this. People are jealous and angry at me because I have done this. This is not make believe. I'm not not pretending. I have really had broken noses, broken eye sockets, broken bones. I really have had. I've, I've had. Um, I've, I've, I really have had uh, uh, battles with champions. I really have. I'm not just saying it. I'm not just making it up. It's not make believe. It's not a conspiracy. I have got. I have got here yeah, dated at the beginning of March. Two letters from the South Yorkshire Police, why I've tagged them in this post. Saying I can't go out and sell my stickers to people, yet when I walk through my town, there's people begging. The same people that bottled me are still walking through the town today, with dogs now to protect them. They don't have bottles, they don't have walking around with bottles, they've got a dog. Bless him. It's only a pooch anyway, I said, I said cute dog, cute dog to him. You know, every time I walk through town just at work or doing my thing, you know, just report making a few videos, trying to encourage people back to business, trying to encourage people back to shop local. They're there giving me shit. It's like, well, how come the police leave you to do what you're doing? But they're on my case sending me letters. The guy that bottled me, right, the other day, threatened me again with a bottle, said I will bottle you again in front of the council. This is why I've tag the council in front of the council street wardens and the street wardens phoned the police and said I was causing a nuisance and had me arrested on a section 5 a bent copper came 702 the, you know this they're all involved in it mate the bent copper came he's the one that contacted Mr Berg you know what I mean and uh, the bent copper came and just arrested me assaulted me assaulted me and they held me for 31 hours in a cell and then put me in front of a judge for getting threatened again but with, by the same guy who threatened to bottle me. Last year, in April, I painted a big rainbow for support of the... Because I was, you know, showing support for the hard workers in the NHS. A year later, you know, a year later, I did say last year, a year later, what are you going to be saying? What are you going to be saying when no one's died? No one on your streets died. Nobody in your nose died. And you're still ramming this shit down your throat. What are you going to be saying? And that's another thing that's getting people upset with me. Because the truth is coming out. You know what I mean? Facebook are hindering my videos. They don't want the truth out there. They don't want people knowing that NHS here just refused to treat me. And left me bleeding from my head. Blood dripping from my head. They don't want people to know that that's what they did. They risked my life for real. Over a, fi over a fictitious virus thing, that, well, the flu that they've now renamed COVID. I've, I have had a blister on the inside of my nose ever since I was forcefully tested at, at um, Hull Prison last year. Because I was held hostage, me, I was kidnapped off the street and held hostage just so people could line their Christmas stockings for the children using your pensioners' money. I, I, I'm just been, I've been highlighting the fact that whilst you've been coerced to stay at home and threatened with £20,000 fines, like I'm being threat, like I'm threatened by the police, by the police, policy enforcement agents, um, people are being left freely to sell spice and take spice and beg off people in the streets. I've got nothing against these people, they're being used. They don't even realize the dealer that bought me. They don't even realize they're being used. Now the reason they're being protected so much is because the police set it up, and they know that if they're facing prison, these people are going to sing like canaries because they're just addicts. They're just vulnerable, manipulated people. You know, 
Because that's all they can do is get, they can't get proper boys to to work for them. They can't get proper boyos running around for them like Id idiots and headless chickens with just a brand new pair of trainers on. You know what I mean? They can't do that. They have to use, to sell this spice bollocks, they have to use vulnerable people. And what they do is they lie to them and say, oh, well, that Phil, he's just a smackhead. He's a, he's a woman beater. He's a, he does this, he does that. It's all knackers just so they can you keep carry on using the vulnerable, destitute kids and destitute adults to run around and make them a pretty penny so they've got a nice big fat Christmas stocking for their children on, on pensioners, pensions, mate. They want the pensions back. Like I've said this loads of times, anything happening in your town and centre is happening because the council want it to. If I went and set up a store tomorrow in the middle of town, just set a store up and started selling my stickers and put my pictures everywhere and that, they would shut me down. But if I went to town tomorrow with a sleeping bag around my neck, it seems like I'm alright. No £20,000 fine threat there. It's not, even a, it's not even a fine, my friends. Police have no power at all to find any man or, or female. They only have uh, the power to invite you into contract. That's all they can do is invite you into a special invitation into contract. But they don't invite you, the man. They only invite you, a man, to speak for a crown-owned fiction that's annexed to you through your birth certificate. I've spoke about this a lot, many times. You know, we live in a corporate world that only deal with corporate, corporate, corporate names, right? This is where, when if you're ever in court, you need to question the court and ask, who are you? You know, Crown Prosecution said, who are you? Are you the victim? Because I'm here as a man in Christ's name, in my Christ's name, right? And if legislation can only soon be sued by a corporate name, you're here acting in person, as a representative for a, the Crown, which is a corporate, it can't speak, so it needs you to speak for it. And if legislation can only soon be sold by a corporate name, you must need me to act as a representative for another Crown-owned corporate name, another Crown-owned corporation, another a surname, my sur not mine, the Crown surname annexed to me. I'm just tricked all my life into thinking it's mine. I'm tricked all my life into thinking that's me. I'm tricked into saying, yeah, that's me. That's surname, that's me, when it's not. When it's not. On any court proceedings, if you're in family law, right, have a look at your court paperwork. It's fraudulent because it's got two two languages on it. It's got English on it. Your name, I'll have your name, which is signified in English, lowercase, your first, your first name, your first calling, and maybe your middle name, all right? And then I'll have in all caps, in another language called Dog Latin, your surname, a surname, not yours, sorry. See, I've tricked, it's, it's grammatical fraud, mate. Um, the surname that's owned by the track, but that surname can't speak, can it? So they can't do their corporate law, they can't practice, they can't do their corporate, corporate transaction, their witchcraft, their sorcery, they can't do it unless some man speaks for it. So when you say you are it, you're speaking for it. And giving these people authority over you. I've spoke about this many times. If you want to know more about it, I'm happy for you. I'm happy to sit with you one on one and go through it with you so you proper get it and grasp it. And you can rise in your Christ's name, in Jesus' name, and rise in the truth. And actually and realize, wow, hang on a minute. I'm not dead, I'm alive. So, you know, you'll rise from the dead as I speak of. I'm a fisher of men. Um, do, but I believe I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from a long, a, a long bloodline from the original apostles, maybe. I've got something in me, I don't know, I can't describe it. I can't explain it with mere simple words, mate. I can't, it's that immense and that huge. I can't describe it to you. I can't even ex explain it because it's, it's unexplainable, you know. All I know is that it's the power of the Lord. And, I, I, and I've learnt what I've, been, what I've been taught and I know what I know and I speak what I speak with authority because I, 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 I truly believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and I have opened my heart fully to the Lord and all I can promise you is everything this promises comes true if you do that if you open up your heart to the Lord everything this promises you comes into fruition that is a promise I swear to you um, 
I sell these stickers, these are parental alienation awareness stickers. Now these ones are just 20p each. You know, because I'm not greedy and, and you know, it doesn't cost much to, to run the page. I'm trying my best to get it proper up and running. We'll get more and more people. There's a lot of people who know about this sort of abuse, but they call it playing God with children and they dumb it down. Like Jeremy Carr used to dumb it down and that. It's not. It's domestic violence by proxy. It's domestic abuse by proxy. It's child abuse. It's elderly abuse to grandparents, man. It's massive abuse and it's going on on punished it needs to be made a co coercion is a criminal offense so you know when you're being coerced to do things when you're being forced to do things blackmailed or co coercion is a criminal offense now using children to coerce your ex that's a criminal offense so we need to get this as this parental alienation as recognized as possible and as you know it took it took a few women years ago to, to stand up for what was right, a smart tiny minority to stand up what was, was right, to change the mindset of the majority, it took a tiny minority and they stood up for what they believed in and they got the equal rights. Now we don't live in a world of equality mate. I know more people and I'm not trying to stick up for fucking men, men are stronger physically than women but when it comes to mentally no, we're not, mate. We're not. We're, we're, we're not even at a level paring. I think you ladies are a lot more intelligent than us men. And us, brains of a brawn, you know what I mean? Us, but this is because of the physical aspect that we see. We, we just automatically think, well, men are stronger. Um, men must do, they must do something. If they can't see the kids, they must have done something bad. And it's not the fact. There are narcissistic females that are abusing men today using using this abuse, using financial abuse, using spiritual abuse, psychological abuse, manipulation, coercion, control, it's dark, it's dark, and if you're operating from that level in your heart, I promise you, nothing but eternal damnation awaits you, but it's never too late, it's never too late, there's many people that are watching me now, thinking, never am I, am I really abusing my kids, and then looked at what they're doing, and fucking hell, I'm actually abusing my kids here, Granted, I'm getting back at my ex, but oh, I'm damaging my children. And they've changed the ways, and, and they change. There'll be people now that are waking up and thinking, bloody hell, I've been doing this for the last 10 years. Oh, God. You know what I mean? That, and God bless you. You are, you know. But then people that know what they're doing, and they carry on anyway, regardless, they're the ones that will rot and burn forever. It's not fair what you're doing to people. It's not fair what you're doing to children. It's not fair what you're doing to elderly. It's not fair what you're doing to your ex-partners. There's too many people in my town dying for me, to, for, for this to be an excuse. I don't know what else to do. I've done fitness. I've offered you it for free. I'm, I've learnt about as legal name and I'm trying to educate people on that. I am for the people. I don't represent the graven image. You know, the second commandment, the second commandment, right? So this is to all you crown representatives, yeah? I'm speaking to you as the, 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 the as the, I'll, I'll allow the Holy Spirit to take over and to speak to you with with authority. All right, what you are doing representing the crown and not us is a direct breach of the second commandment. You are directly breaching God's commandment. You shall not make for yourself an image. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. And you walk around pillaging good men, pillaging, plundering good men, tricking them into contract, consensual contract, inviting them into contract, and then the mainstream media demons are calling it fines. Please find so and so, please, it's bullshit, it's lies, it's lies, headlines are lies, the headlines are lies. Police invite, police dupe, that's what it should be called, police dupe men into acting as a crown owned corporate franchise acting as a representative misleading to intentionally mislead people to to act as a representative for their crown owned name which was annexed to them not theirs sorry for the crown owned name annexed to them through their birth certificate without their knowledge or consent which makes that fraud this is this is the very simple thing this is how we take back our power we are not obliged to perform or act in person. It's as simple as that. We're not. 
we're just tricked all his life to say that we are that mister and are that missus. We're tricked all his life to say that that is us, that corporate name is us, when it ain't. All your life, you, a lot of people all your life don't even know who you are, don't even know who you are, mate. You walk around, as a, you walk around claiming to be a dead corporate fiction. But when you do realise the truth, this is why Jesus walked in the light. Because in this darkness, in this dark world that operates in the world of the dead, in necromancy, Jesus was the light. He walked in the truth and said, you know, settle your, settle your quarrels with your adversary on your way to court. Or you might be handed over to the court and the court might hand, over to, or hand you over to the bailiff and you'll be thrown in prison because of the corporate law, the corporate legal system that's around you. Settle with it man to man. I'm not saying man to man. Uh, so I, I just keep, the way I keep positive, the way I keep going is, I, you know, I figure if people can sit out there and they can, begging and dealing and bottling people and threatening people, then I can sell stickers to live, to survive. I hope to get to a point where I'm selling enough stickers where I don't need any support of anyone. I don't need to do these videos and that. I've got like a set amount of people. Not, I don't just do stickers. I leaflet, I design pictures, I design um, business cards, jumpers, clothing, I do gardening, cleaning, Everything, anything, anything that can make honest, honest cash, anything at all. Um, they cut down every single avenue that they possibly can stop me earning. I just keep bouncing back. I've only got, I've got 11 days left of my ban on my, on my Facebook. I got banned for putting a picture up of a 17 mile run that I'd completed. Um, you know, that's it. I put a picture of a 17 mile run I'd done and they banned, and they banned me for 30 days for it, saying it was a hate speech, harassment and, uh, sorry, harassment and bullying. But what it is, these people that I'm highlighting, yeah, that I've tagged and that, not, not the whole forces, not the whole, but certain people that are involved in these tag things, not, not the cancer research and not the ultra why I'm talking about the council and the police and that. The, the, these people that they, 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 they've got a, they, they've got a free pass to do what they want. I, I lost trail of thought there. I lost trail of thought what I was saying. I lost because nothing scripted me. I don't script anything. I just come on, on live, and I try and, oh yeah, that's it. I've got 10 days left. No, 11 days left. Because I put a picture up saying I've done this 17 mile run. And um, if I'd listen to public health advice, I don't think I'd be able to do that. This video will probably get deleted because that's it. Sorry, that's it. These people that I've highlighted have mass reported my pages, my, my posts. They think they can silence the truth and they can't. They can't because I'm going to be out there every day. I'm going to push every day. You know, what you've done to me is wrong. And I got attacked with a knuckle duster in 2017. He's did nothing about it. I got attacked again. No, I got attacked in 2018. What it was, I won. I won a fight against this fella. Where's my phone gone? Oh, there it is. I won a fight against this fella called Luke Horton, yeah? I won this fight against this fella called Luke Horton, yeah? Um, and then, like, four days later, a, a lad was sent into my cafe because I had a cafe. I didn't have a cafe. A cafe was working and they did quid breakfast, so I bought tokens off them and gave them to the people. The cafe made money off it, not me. Any money in the shop that we had went to the cafe, you know what I mean? But yeah, they sent a guy in called Alex Beardmore with a knuckle duster, the police sent him in. And I've been, I've been highlighting it ever since. You know, I, I was, whilst I was homeless, I, I, I trained a full camp and fought a bare knuckle boxing fight whilst being on the slab proof that you don't need to sit and beg in the dirt. All that we're doing is enabling addiction and that's counterproductive. Um, when I listened to government health advice and the doctor, I was 17 stone. Ever since I put the, put the pharmaceuticals down and just stuck to CBD and cannabis and fitness and eating well, I bled for cancer research. I've walked 108 marathons. I've run. Now, 18 mar half marathons on the Strava, if you Google Strava. Please look over the, the this this guy's bullying. You'll be able to see it if you've got a heart and a head, if you've got a good mind and a good heart. 
you'll be able to see what his game's been since last May. When I walked down, I went down to London to an anti-lockdown protest because I've not believed, I've not been, I've been against this since the beginning. I've been talking about forced vaccinations for years and telling you what's been coming for years, you know what I mean? So I went down to London and I got arrested for giving people my stickers and blessing them in God's, in Jesus' name. I was saying, God bless you. There's a video of it, I can prove it, I've got evidence. And I, I, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Um, and call the, the police deceivers. Um, and this man, called Darren, wrote a story saying I went down saying 5G was the cause of coronavirus and coronavirus weren't real and all that. But on the 3rd of May, on the 3rd of May, a couple of days before that, I'd ran half a marathon for anyone that's struggling with COVID or anyone that had COVID or got COVID. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, and a little message, listen, Sharon, uh, there's a woman called Sharon Means, um, she keeps liking my stuff and that. Listen, mate, I can't have you involved in my stuff, mate, because of what you used to do with roses and that, yeah? My walk, my first ever walk, was because I worked for an idiot of your friend, your friend, your idiot friend, um, and, I, you know, he were ripping it, so I was like, bloody hell, that's, I felt bad for helping him. So I did my first ever walk from Donny to Skegness, you know, and that were it. Um... I know that you like my stuff and comment on my stuff just so people connect, try and connect to us and then put guilty by association and I don't want nothing to do with that mate. I don't want nothing to do with your, you know, I don't want you to anything to do. If anyone's out there saying they're anything to do with what I do, no one is. I'm a one man band stand, one man. I do it all myself. I don't need anyone else to help me. I don't need anyone else to support me. And that, like, like doing things for me and that. I do it myself, you know. If people want to support me, they can share my videos, invite people to like my videos, or buy my, buy my merchandise, or employ me to leaflet for them, because I do that on a GPS tracker, you know. I earn all this money, and it doesn't matter what I do, people that hate on me are going to hate on it anyway, regardless what I do, regardless what I do. So, I'm just going to do me, anyway, you know what I mean. Have a good night, peace, love and light, guys. If folk can beg for death, surely I can work and sell my merchandise for life. I, my friend yesterday, my friend bless him, I can get you a proper job. I was like, I've got a proper job. It's like his, his idea of a proper job is working for someone else and getting a set wage. That's a proper job. I, I don't see that as a proper job, me. I see that as being, as you're working for someone who's making millions and paying you pennies. I don't agree with that. And I don't judge him for doing that or anyone else that works in a factory or, or on, on, on a production line. God bless you if that's what you're happy doing, then that's fine. But I know you're not. I know that you hate going to work. I know that you're fucking... It's, uh, but it's got, and you've got this thing in your head, oh, it's got to be done, but it hasn't. That's just the mindset that you've been blagged into all your life. You don't have to just work, pay taxes and die. There's more to life than that. There's so much more to life, more, more to life than that. I, I wish it was like the old days, mate. You know, I'll fix your roof for a couple of your eggs and or I'll, I'll do a bit of gardening for you. You know, trading, swapping, swapping, trading, exchanging, you know, proper trading, merchants and stuff. But now they're taking our right to earn bread. Don't forget in the Lord's Prayer, it says... Give us this day our daily bread. Our ruling class elite are even trying to destroy that. If you listen, if you think of the word of the word in, in the Lord's Prayer, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, your kingdom, Lord, not this government legal construct that's built around us. The real kingdom of the Lord is everything the Lord gave you. You don't need to perform or act in person. A person is birthed. And a man is born, there's a difference. And once you get to grips with the difference, you can truly free yourself. You're, you're, you're in, you, can, you can save your soul, mate. You can save your soul. God bless, peace, love and light. Um, thanks for listening to me. Have a great night. I have to use this page. I've got 11 days left till I'm allowed on my proper feed. So I have to use this page. I've tried to keep it as on... on on point with uh, any abuse as well. Um, 
like I said, like, this is this is what I do. I do my. This is why I do these things. I can't work in a factory me because within a week I get sacked because I'll have a bad day. Yeah, because of this 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 abuse, right? And I'll end up snapping at my boss. And it's not because I'm an arsehole or I can't graft or anything. It's because and if if this my boss is a 19 year old snot nose, yeah, fucking with his head up head up the gaffer's ass, right? And he's giving me shit for nothing. I'm gonna tell him. Because I've got balls and I've got a, I've got a, I've got a right to stand my ground against corporate dogs, so I'll end up getting sacked. So there's no point me working or trying to sign the contract. I'm starting to work in a factory on a production line when I know that my mental health will take me out the door within a week. So I work for me. I work my own hours when I want, how I want. Last night while I was talking to my friend who offered me a proper job, um, I made thirty three pounds. A friend sent me twenty quid as a gift. Just a gift, she said, Phil, uh, I, I sent you a struggling, sent me 20 quid. And uh, a lovely guy from America bought, t uh, it ended up 13 quid's worth it. He sent $20 after the exchange through PayPal, um, you know, in Maine, USA. My stickers were heading to Maine. In the morning, they posted out first class airmail air, air to Maine. And I'm sending him like 30, so he can stick them all over and maybe I'll get some more customers. Because that customer saw my sticker from another customer that's bought stickers and then stuck them around in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So yeah, I'm global, mate. I've sent some stickers to Australia the other day. I've got customers in Canada. You know, this is why the government hate me, they hate what I'm doing, because they, they want me dependent on them and I don't want to be. I want to do my own thing. I want to do my own thing and build my own shit. My friend last night was like, yeah, but I got a, a proper, a good way, to, you're struggling every day. And I was like, but, yeah, but your boss, who, who owns that for corporation, I guarantee me in the beginning, he struggled every day. You get me? I'm not happy with that mindset. Well, this is just how it is. And, oh, well, this is, this is it. This is how the, this is how life is, a government slave. You know, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. Only because of what I've learned. You know, people get arse on women because they don't like admitting they've been hoodwinked. And I have been telling you from the beginning. I've been saying for the last five years, forced vaccination is on its way. They've been trying to slam the flu vaccine to people for years and now they've figured out a way to do it by just renaming it COVID and whipping up a massive global panic. If you look after your body, I'm living proof, me, mate. I'm sat here, yeah, sat before you right now. Um, this time last year, I had a bit more fuel pounds on me. Um, I started, this time last year, I started running, I've run 100, 100 miles from my boxing club. This time last year. And I'm stood before you now, still telling you the same as what I told you about then. Fitness is medicine, health is wealth. They, they want to take my health, they want to take my health. Them fuckers with the big bank accounts, they want to take my health. So they don't feel... Because when I'm saying health is wealth and they're sat there with like two or three million in bank, but then they're like 20 stone, yeah, of a weight and dying anyway, they're realising, oh shit, yeah, I've spent all that time concentrating on my bank balance and not my actual temple. This is where, this is where you're distracted from God, because we're all gods, we're all made in God's image, alright, we're all God, God, you are God, God centre of your universe. Jesus Christ, the real church of Jesus Christ, the centre of your heart. Yeah? You get you feel me? Now you can either concentrate on your bank accounts or concentrate on your temples. You can't serve both. You can only serve one. A house divided amongst itself will fall. Peace guys, have a good night. If you can help me, please do. Stickers, if you want these stickers are 20 pence each through PayPal. Um Free, pay, free post and pa, pa, free post and package. Um, if you want these ones, are a pound each. Fifty three goes fifty percent. Fifty three goes to cancer research. Um, of these, of this batch, not all the time. I don't just sell stickers. I don't sell stickers for any charity, me. I sell stickers for me, but I choose to give my money to charity. Yeah. That is it. That is it, me. People have got a problem. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if I'm leafleting, sticker selling. It does not matter, selling chocolate, for God's sake, it doesn't matter. 
They're gonna whinge and moan because it's this smile that upsets them, nothing more. It's happiness. It's being happy and progressing no matter what. They put all that effort into trying to stop me and it's just futile. <laughs> I can only imagine how pissed off they're getting. Peace.